I love farmers. If you're not failing, you're not trying hard enough. And I love science. Turds don't go away on their own. There isn't some magical turd fairy waving her magical wand for them to go away. That's why I'm here, helping to lead a big old research project about farmers and scientists who are figuring out if the way these cattle are being grazed could actually help solve climate change. I'm always looking for common ground. And what I've realized is common ground is actually the, the actual ground. ground. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. We found farmers grazing in a new way. I'm out here 365 days a year. I move my cows a minimum of once a day. Pretty easy. Based on grazing the oldest way, invented by the best land managers ever, the bison. Yeah, we love farming, but I don't want to farm at the expense of nature. That's not what it's about. I mean, that didn't even make sense. I wrangled a team of scientists. If there was no soil microbes, I think we'd all die. Who are measuring everything these farmers have figured out, from soil health to farmer wealth. We found folks farming in that new way, called adaptive grazing, where cows graze in small paddocks with frequent moves into fresh paddocks. So I may need to make paddocks bigger at some point, smaller at some point. So that's why we use the term adaptive grazing, guys. Okay. Across the fence were their neighbors, farming in the traditional, conventional way, where cattle graze in much larger pastures for weeks or months, overgrazing all the good stuff, leaving no place for wildlife. Yes, Bob White. Recently, we've been hearing quail, which my neighbor Wallace is really interested in. He's, he? he's a bird hunter. OK. I was no Cooper had quail over there. It made me mad. <laughs> so we're here to do science, and we're here to wonder if our science will have any effect on the conventional farmers. If the data comes back verifying that you're regenerating your soils and you're doing the things that you think you're doing, do you think that'll make an impression on Wallace and Prentice? Would they turn around and, and change a lot I mean, of what I, they're no doing. can't answer that. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Don't. How do we get farmers to open up to the idea of change? That seems to be the, the trickiest thing, right? We are a very stubborn people. And I only wish that we had started this much sooner than we, we did, but we didn't know about it. Who knew? What we're supposed to do now? How do we get the carbon back? How do we do this? That way he can sync, right, the hand clap with the audio. He can sync these two cameras together. You know, I'd say, Peter, that you've done an amazing job about learning about science. Yeah. And I have to say that I haven't learned jack shit about filming a movie. <laughs>